Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I thank the ranking member as well. And I thank you, Mr. Secretary, for appearing today. Um, Mr. Secretary, I think it appropriate to examine some of the history of FHA. It is important to note that before FHA, loans were, generally speaking, three to five years. There was no amortization, and you had these huge balloon payments. FHA transformed the housing market such that middle class Americans could afford housing. Uh, it has been a real friend, if you will, to this country. And why is FHA below 2 percent? Because FHA played a countercyclical role in the debacle that took place that brought this economy to its knees or nearly to its knees, depending on who you were. For many people, it was a depression. For some, it was a recession. FHA, according to the Center for American Progress, prevented home prices from dropping 25 percent. FHA saved 3 million jobs. FHA saved a trillion dollars in economic output. FHA saved $3 trillion in lost property values. FHA kept interest rates from skyrocketing. FHA prevented another Great Depression. And as has been indicated, the law required and FHA complied and received $1.7 billion, of which FHA has not spent. The truth be told, FHA has been the reason that this economy is in the shape that it is in today. Probably not solely, but generally speaking, has made its significant contribution. Now, with reference to the 2 percent, the chairperson is eminently correct. It does say, shall endeavor, and it does say, shall ensure thereafter. My suspicion is that you are endeavoring to bring, the, uh, this, uh, bring us back to 2 percent and that you will thereafter keep us at 2 percent. But I think the law also anticipates, and we who passed the law obviously anticipated that things might not go as well as anticipated, else we would not have built into the law the opportunity for FHA to receive monies from the Treasury in difficult times. So I am greatly appreciative of the work that you are doing. I think that without your good deeds and good works, FHA could continue to bump along, but I think you are going to help us to bring it back and revitalize it and in the process continue to allow people who but for FHA could not afford a home. Finally this, and I will give back some time. I appreciate people who care about the least among us. I appreciate it. Although I must tell you, some of us are not part-time freedom fighters. Some of us were born into this. Some of us wake up to it and go to bed with it. Some of us inherited it. Some of us don't have the luxury of selective outrage. Some of us have received a duty and an obligation to continue to make a difference in the lives of the least of us, not on some days, but every day. So for some of us, this day is not unlike any other. We are here to do what we can to help the least among us. And sometimes that requires that we take some difficult positions. Uh, sometimes we have to stand in the face of some extreme challenges. But I want you to know this, Mr. Secretary. Dr. King was still right. The arc of the moral universe still bends toward justice. Carlisle is still right. No lie is going to live forever. 
William Cullen Bryant is still right. Truth crushed to earth shall rise again. Stand strong, Mr. Chairman. Stand strong, Mr. Secretary.